All right, welcome to this lesson. Today I wanted to talk about a very simple way to apply rudiments to your playing on the kit. So actually playing a groove or playing a beat. Um, oftentimes when we're playing these sticking patterns, it can be confusing to figure out how to apply them in real world situations. Some people love rudiments, some people hate them. I'm somewhere in between. I think they are definitely useful for um, providing control, uh, stick control and coordination that will help you express your ideas better. But they're bad in the way that we don't want to get trapped in any type of uh, program or ideas that other people have set for us. We want to create our own ideas, right? So. Uh, what I'd like to show you today is how a simple paradiddle, which everyone's heard of a paradiddle, right? If you use a simple paradiddle and orchestrate it over the kit in a very simple way, you have a pretty cool groove. So the paradiddle is right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left. So definitely work that out on the snare first if you haven't and it's commonly played with an accent on the first note. So that would be like this. That's the paradiddle. Now what we're gonna do is orchestrate that between our hands. So the right hand is gonna go on the hi-hat and the left hand on the snare. So that's gonna sound like this. We're going to add a bass drum on the one and on the and of one. So that's going to sound like this. You can also add a bass drum on the ah of one. So it'd be one and a, three and a, one and a, three and a. If you really focus on making the quarter notes the accents and making the rest of the 16th notes unaccented or ghosted, um, you get some pretty groovy sounds out of that. The other aspect I'm adding in this beat is I'm opening the hi-hat on beat three. Um, and I'm opening it for an eighth note. So I'm opening it, uh, the length is between three and the and of three. That's the spacing on that. So I'll demonstrate that now. So pretty groovy. Um, it definitely breaks up uh, your kind of more common 16th note groove. If I were to play a 16th note groove in the most basic sense, all of my 16th notes would be on the hi-hat and I'd just be playing the two and the four on the snare. And I can even play the same bass pattern. So let's play one and um, and see what that sounds like. And that sounds fine, um, but using the paradiddle, it's actually a lot funkier and kind of more interesting to the ear. So I invite you to try this out at home. Definitely work on your paradiddle by itself on the snare or on a pad and just get that going really clean and really even. 
um, work on your accents. So accent those quarter notes and get the other 16th notes low to the drum. That's how we create strong dynamics with our playing. Our accents are loud and our unaccented notes are quiet and we have full control over that. And then once you get this down, you know, as always, take, take the pattern and just play around with it. Try it out, improvise, come up with some new ideas. Um, you don't have to stay strict on this paradiddle pattern either. Um, once you get into playing paradiddles, you see that it's really just about alternating your right and left hands um, in musical ways. So the paradiddle happens to work where the left accent on the two is where our backbeat would normally be. One and two and three and four and. So one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. That's really common in grooves. We want to put our snare on the two and the four. Play around with different alternating sticking and see where your accents end up or see where your right and your left hands end up. Just make sure that you're returning to your right hand on the one. As long as you get back to the right hand on the one, you're fine. Um, so I'm gonna just improvise on this for a little bit and we'll see what we come up with. 